So I participated in the Interdisciplinary Environmental Clinic, which gives students the opportunity to work on local environmental law cases and advocate on behalf of community organizations. Something that was meaningful to me in this course was being able to see the impact of my work. One of the projects I worked on involved preventing the development of a massive ice skating complex in Creevecore Park. And now every time I go to that park, I get to see how beautiful it is and I get to say I helped preserve this, so there's a really strong emotional impact. Being in a community engaged course really taught me to deal with both wins and losses. In the environmental world, you aren't always going to get that win. Sometimes developers or fossil fuel companies succeed, but there's always hope. There's always another path you can take, another way to fight that battle. Maybe if a law doesn't exist um, and you can't win a certain case, then you move on to policy advocacy. So it really taught me the power of persistence and that you have to build up personal resiliency in order to help build resilient communities. When we think about community engagement, sometimes the problem isn't only engaging with people in the community, which we use as a word to indicate that people that are living with some sort of issue or that we're talking about. It's also engaging with everybody who's a relevant stakeholder in the, in the process. I started out with this community building course and then I took this public health course. Reflecting back now, two years after I graduated, these really set me up on my current career path. After I graduated, I moved to Montana and kept focusing on native health. It's good to want to focus on, for example, doing research in an academic setting, but for me, what was important is understanding how that research could impact people's everyday lives and change and help um, change society or change things for the better. So the first course I took was my junior year of college and it was called Women in Prisons. So not only did we go to Vandalia the women's prison in Missouri, but we also talked about how incarceration in general, even if it's affecting men, goes on to uh, impact the women um, in society. Something that really resonated with me was where I was at the Center for Women in Transition, and I was talking to some of the women there during the life skills classes, and we were just honestly talking about healthcare. And I saw um, a form of healthcare not only through the prison system, but also how healthcare works before that, and how the systematic injustices are at play in a variety of ways. And so we were talking about um, gynecological care, which is something I want to do. I want to be an OBGYN. And just how that system is limited, especially for women, that you know we need constant checkups, yearly access to this care. And it's not really available to a large portion of our society. Even though I was working at an organization when we were talking about incarceration and other forms of those injustices, I saw healthcare, which is something that I'm really passionate about, come up over and over again. It's not about, you know, just the prisons, it's not just about healthcare, it's not just about education. They're all really connected and I think you really hear that when you hear people's stories that you're working with. And I think that really shaped my opinion on healthcare and it really made me see that I want to have these experiences working with people before I go on and practice medicine because I really don't think I'm going to be a good doctor unless I listen to these stories, had these experiences beforehand. These courses tell you about the work that's being done in our community, tells you about the issues in our community, and it's really a, get, a chance to get to learn about St. Louis, and I think it's a great structured way to do so.